Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, let's see what we have in the stores, obviously, and we'll see if we can actually get some new fish. Uh, oh, right off the bat, there's a fossil. <laughs> Let's see if that's a new fish. Let's see. I'd love to get myself a tuna, but we'll see. But yeah, guys, I've been playing Zelda. I actually took some time to play Zelda. And it's bad. It's really good. I haven't played That's the first time I played it. Oh, Black Bass. I don't want Black Bass. Uh, really? Here again, why does it have to be here? Ugh. Well, like I was saying, I was playing Zelda and darn, I haven't played Breath of the Wild before, and darn it, it's just awesome seeing how big Hyrule is, and it's crazy, man. It, it, it's crazy just the amount of stuff. Off in the freaking game and how huge it is and how you can't you know you can go anywhere you want but you have to be smart about it i mean you can try climbing up a mountain falling all the way down to your death you know the enemies are actually pretty smart i like how the bokoblins actually start throwing rocks at you and stuff and they don't have any uh, long range weapons but i like using their weapons against them as well no, it's really awesome, it's really cool, and I'm still just in the Great Plateau, I still haven't finished the shrines there. Darn, I love it. Um, nothing here. Sadly. Do I need another trouble? Mm, no, I'm good. But let's sell these fossils. But yeah, like I said, I'm just having fun, I need the magnesis, uh, the ice. Um, one is, they're all pretty darn cool, I love the runes, I, I love the way they play, and it really adds a lot of stuff to the game, you can do so freaking much, you know, it, it, it's just crazy the amount of stuff you can do to defeat enemies and get to places, I love it. Loving, loving, loving. And like I said, I have the DLC, so we'll see if I'll make a let's play of it. Obviously, like I said, I want to do Super Robot Wars first. Um, but like I said, I really don't have a lot of time right now. And I'm still playing it, and it's still. Alright, guys. I got Wayne Zero Custom that is so freaking killer. I mean, I just sent it by itself. And that thing will kill, 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 kill anything that stands in its way until the, it, its energy runs out. And of course, the energy is running out because it's still a level 35. Oh, a pond smell. Oh, that's new. Nice. The pond smell. Okay, that. But yeah, like I said, Wing Silver is just pretty badass. And now I have Massinger Seda, and I have Great, and I also have upgraded those two. Um, they're not as strong as Zero yet, but they're they're getting strong. They're getting pretty darn strong. Uh, darn, it is really darn awesome. I love Super Robot Awards, man. <laughs> I want let's play for you guys. The thing is, like I said, I'm still getting accustomed to it. And another thing is that there is a bunch of routes and there's a bunch of stuff. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can only get because um, it lets you pick out a male or a female character. And there's only, there's quite a few scenarios that if you're that only the male character gets and the female character gets. It's like that. Plus, there's different routes 
plus they're all the secrets you know defeating an enemy with this certain character is like that and still pretty darn awesome there's so much in that game darn <sighs> i know there is a new one coming out next year so well supposedly it's gonna be announced next year so we'll see what happens i'm really excited Look at you, bring the snow to come visit. Be sure to watch your step out there. It will, it will. Oh, there's quite a few things here. Let's see. But, darn. Really happy with that game. Okay, we got the fussy vest here. All in diff different colors. I think I'll get it. I think this color. I like it. But there's also these, the pea coats. Like it. Oh, darn. So I get the fussy vest right now. Road shirt, no needed. Work apron, same. Worker's jacket, same. Mm, no need anything from here. I already have all of these. So we don't need anything from here as well. The other shower cap, really? <laughs> oh, oh, this one looks great. Okay, that combination, I like it. And nothing here. Nothing here. And nothing. The shoe department. Oh, moccasins. But oh, now I get to pick the color. Okay. Mm, and they also have the walking shoe colors. Darn it, really? These are the only colors they have for the walking shoes? Only three? Come on, guys. Mm, I will guess I'll get these moccasins. Water moccasins? Get your water moccasins here. So, let's get that. Yes, and I'll wear them out. Okay, let's get the pea coat. What color do I want? I think gray. I don't know, for some reason I am wearing a lot of gray, even in real life, so yeah. And I guess you can say I'm going in a grayish face. Okay, so we got that, that's great. But darn, like I said, Super Royal Wars is just a really fun game. It's fun, it's interesting, there's strategy. There's a lot more strategy to it than it actually is. I mean, I'll see how we can... I, another reason that I want to play through it the first time, you know, instead of just going straight to the last play, is that there's missions that it can take you an hour to, to figure out what you have to do, because sometimes you have to pull out some miracles. I'm not joking, guys. I'm gonna go to my low battery message. But sometimes you have to pull out some miracles. Like, you have to destroy this enemy in this amount of turns, and you can't get there with your heavy healer. Or you get there. But the fight to get there is what's so freaking tough that you're basically without energy. And you have to figure out a way to use that little bit of energy that you have left into this single attack that you have. And at the same time, find a way so your other characters, if you're not able to take out that enemy, with your next attack for them to be able to take it out you know and it's one of those things that can get really stressful because you're just trying to figure out different strategies you're like okay what if i go here what if i go there what if i um take let's say messenger and i juice it up and just freaking you know Wait, you know what? Leave it here. Do attack. 
you know, it, and it's always that, oh. But there's always that uncertainty that your next attack is gonna hit, it's gonna fail, you know. There's always that looming there, but man, once you get a heavy heater, like I said, like, once I got wave zero and I upgraded it, that thing was just, that thing is just destroying everything, everything, everything. I said by itself, it can kill like 20 units in, in one go and just counter attacking. You know, it, and it's crazy, and then I go and I weaken them a little bit, the ones that don't die, then I do the rolling buster shot <laughs> on them, you know, from the map, and I just destroy four, five, six. Oh, what's this? I got a squid, I have an inkling I might, oh yeah, Splatoon obviously, but yeah, it's just devastating, and I cannot wait, dude. I cannot wait to get Mass and Kaiser and G Emperor. That's gonna be awesome. Obviously, I have to upgrade them as well. That's the thing. That's the only thing about the game. I have to figure out how you get more money. You know, how you get more funds, because that's the thing right now. That I just... I run short of money. I can upgrade maybe a few things or one fully. So yeah, I'm still pretty. I'm still starting the game. It's still like uh, oh, I broke gray. And now I come over here and there's the freaking more fish right there. Oh yeah, that's probably the sea butterfly. But like I said. Darn it! Really? Croc. 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 But yeah, um... I, I have to figure that out, but like I said, I'm still in... Very early, I think I'm in stage... What? 30, I think it is now? Stage 30? And those and these games have a lot of stages. Like normally you get 50 stages, but mm, it depends. Some of them also have quite a few more. Actually, some of them have 60. I don't know if there's one with 100. Could be wrong about that. I think there is one with 100 stages. I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, glad I found you, Zero. Okay, so you need money. Okay, so what are you selling? Uh, nope. I already have one of those. Nope. Book stand. Mm, I'll take it. I wish you could. It, I wish they would just give you a menu and be like, okay, what do you want? This and this and that. Because he has a money situation, but you can only buy one thing, and you cannot go back and buy the other stuff. So uh, they have to fix that. Really? Do. Uh, we have to go over at Paddy's house. Let's see if there's another fossil over there. Is that one missing there? But yeah, um, I also have the DLC by the way. Oh, there it is. Wow. I also have the DLC, so there's like. Um, I think it's 10 more stages? <laughs> It, which is pretty nice, actually. I like the way they did the DLC because uh, um, they actually take place in between the stories. And the thing is that you have to complete the story to be actually to be able to get to the DLC. So let's say you finish chapter one and chapter, I mean chapter three, then you get access to the ones that are chapter four. 
that are, you know, that take place after chapter 3. And yes, it's actually part of the story. So they explain a few things. How some super robots come here, join your team and everything. It's pretty nice. The only thing that I don't like about them is that they don't let you use your super robots. The customizations that you have, they don't are they are not there. But what they give you is they're they're pretty powerful, they're pretty cool. Cool and everything. Awesome. No, no. They don't have anything. I'm fine, bladders. But it, it's pretty awesome, you know, the amount of customization options that you have with um, not the upgrades, but just the different parts and stuff. I love how you can actually decide to or make this mode to a complete mobile. You know, mobile just means that it can move a lot. You can make it so it's only for a, a glass cannon. You can actually make a glass cannon. You just upgrade the weapon, attack, power, and then you upgrade the sights. And then you have a glass cannon right there. Or you can make it a full on defense, chunky suit, or or just one that has a bunch of health so you can take a bunch of hits it's up to you what, what you what you do in the game is up to you and i like that i like that there's so many options and darn even the customizations for the characters is like that i mean you can make let's say you can make a kabuto koji that is complete defense and power and attack so he's just a tank that can take hits but it can also give it out and you can make a tetsuya which is let's say he is um, a long range attacker you know has let's say it, it can move a lot but it can also hit hard you know it, it, it can be a glass cannon as well so let's see slip on school shoes babushes employee shoes symphony eyes evening bag cross body bag traveler's bag studded backpack fox fur bag dude this is the first time you have not brought me anything that I want. Really? Wow. Man kicks. Ah, the random gods haven't been generous to us there. They just haven't. Let's see if there's some more fish that we can get. But yeah, like I said, um, it, it, it's pretty awesome what they actually let you do with them. And then the fighting, you know, obviously you want to use the strongest attack, but you can decide, you know, if you want to use a close range, a long range, it's up to you. And then you have the spirits, which is basically buffs and debuffs. For your super robots or the enemy super robots as well. So there's a lot of gameplay in it. Here we go, that's the butterfly. A Kelsey butterfly, try not to confuse it from for a Sima. <laughs> and it's weird that the sea butterfly actually you know you actually throw the fishing rod and you catch it. Because in the other one, if I remember correctly, in the new leaf you actually have to dive to get it, I think it was. I could be wrong about that. But still, it's nice having the butterfly. Um, let's see. 
going to, I want to get the ore fish, but I don't know if we can actually pull that off. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can find the tuna. Yeah, I'm really having fun with that. I'm really having fun with Zelda. I'm having fun just getting lost and trying to figure, okay, I have to go through here. Oh, this place is a little bit too cold, so I need to eat some peppers. No, uh, I need to make a hot pepper recipe and then eat it so I have 12 minutes before I freeze and I can't... And even if I still have that, I cannot go in the water because the water is going to kill me. Because it's way colder. Which is a nice touch, honestly. But I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying everything, honestly. And, wow. I'm just happy with the games, honestly. Ah. What is this supposed to be? I think this is an RC butterfly. Probably, uh, it probably is. It's not the ore fish, darn it. No ore fish, no tuna. Come on, man. I think we're gonna have to capture those in the whole time. Anyway, let's stick what we have right now to the ladders. And that's probably gonna be it for the video. I mean, it's not gonna be that long. Obviously, I know guys it's Just that I have other stuff to do and I have to get up early and all that stuff You know, that's how life works Which sucks because sometimes you just, just want to be with some people That you want to be with and you can't because both of you are Really Busy with stuff, work and stuff, and then you're like, oh, oh, the little time we have, it's still good, it's still pretty good. Uh, didn't I donate them? Okay, okay so we did donate them, just didn't read it. Okay, so we donated all them are fish, so let's take a look at the fish. Like I said, I still haven't caught the ore fish. If I did, you guys would have seen it. Trust me. So we got some sea fish, so it's supposed to be around here. I think the sea butterfly goes in the tank. Not on this one. I think it goes on the one that's around here. This one? Oh yeah, there it is. Those are the sea butterflies, you can see them. That shit looks pretty cool. Hey, Pally. The sea butterfly is so beautiful swimming around. They're probably even, even pretty when they're eating. You're who donated that fish? What? That's awesome. Yes, we did, Pally. Yes, we did. There we go. It's hard to see with a butterfly. So, oh my god, they, that is really weird how they swim. That's crazy. Well, guys. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And now... See you guys next time. Let's do a flourish.